William Harrison Hitchler taught his law students the rules of evidence. He pushed them to focus on the facts of a case and not to rush to judgment. Yet witness testimony suggests his ghost may be a prime suspect in a spree of defiant trespass cases reported on the campus of Dickinson School of Law. Hello, my name is Joe Cress, history reporter with the Sentinel in Carlisle. Welcome to this installment of History Behind the Haunting. I'm standing in Trickett Hall, the oldest and most iconic building on campus. On October 30th, 1998, law school archivist Mark Padvia and several students were camped out on the grand staircase. They were eager to have a supernatural encounter. They got their wish. Sometime after midnight, a young lady heard the portrait of Dean Hitchler calling to her, Padvia would later recall. When a student walked over to the portrait, she was frozen to the ground and couldn't move. Fabia went over to her to see if she was okay. When she touched her arm, it felt like an ice cube. A sudden drop in temperature is a classic sign a spirit is present. She said the portrait asked her why she was here because Dean Hitchler didn't approve of women being at the law school. Fabia also remembered the story of a custodian who fell ill one evening and decided to lay down in the staff lounge during his dinner break. He was not there long before he felt a hand shaking him awake, but there was no one there, and the room was locked. In his book, Ghosts of Carlisle, author Daniel Heisey wrote that students and staff had reported hearing footsteps and seeing a man matching Hitchler's build enter the dean's rooms. The mysterious figure wore the same kind of hat and coat. Some people even saw the figure pacing at hours when the building was deserted. Born in Plymouth, Luzerne County in 1883, Hitchler earned his law degree from the University of Virginia and started as a law professor at Dickinson in 1906. He later became dean of the law school. In his book, Heise described Hitchler as an austere bald man with the face and temperament of a turtle. He ruled the law school more like the headmaster of a boys boarding school then like the managing partner of a law firm. Of impeccable moral character, Hitchler disapproved of smoking, drinking, and frivolity. With a stern and Victorian glare, he would patrol Carlisle to spy law students entering and leaving bar rooms, pool halls, and movie theaters. Next day in class, he would question offenders mercilessly. In 1937, after having a lecture disrupted from outside, he tacked on the school's bulletin board a one-sentence notice. Students who whistle anywhere in the law school will be asked to withdraw. Hitchler controlled the law school for almost 25 years. By 1953, he started to notice symptoms of what was diagnosed as Parkinson's disease. He retired as dean in 1954 and died in 1959. Even in decline, he kept up the tough exterior and continued his role as a one-man vice squad for the school. When Mark Padvia was a law student in the early 1980s, a classmate saw the outline of a figure every morning if she looked toward her dormitory window. Was this mysterious shade the brooding spirit of a stern and stuffy old bachelor? Is Dean Hitchler even today watching over the law school students passing judgment on their behavior from the afterlife? The jury is still out. <laughs>